Hello everyone, sorry about this kind of rough, quick sketch of a video, but I uh, have very little time and I wanted to test out the Orion Drive some more. So I made a very extremely basic prototype uh, vessel from what I've learned. So there are some basic things that I was testing out that I found out about this bug. For starters, it doesn't really act by itself. The part, the firework part, does not act like a thruster. It's bizarre and extremely weird, but the part, or the firework part, actually translates its thrust into the part that it's attached to. So basically, you can throw one of these firework parts on a, another part and offset it all the way to the left or right or up and down and it won't affect the center of mass of that part. So, very, very strange bug, for sure. Useful, but strange. In my testing, I was trying to figure out just how much max thrust I could put on a part before it failed. I tested everything, from short parts to long parts, from using the pistons like shock absorbers to having no pistons at all. And through my study, I have come to the conclusion that having two of these firework parts and sorry, I can't, for, this this is post-production, so I'm off the top of my head, I can't remember what the darn name of these things were. But having two of them that are relatively win, within the tens, tens of thousands of force and launch velocity, not hundreds of thousands, but tens of thousands, too much equals death. But having tens of thousands of force and launch capability, or launch velocity, excuse me, on one piston is pushing it, but it's also a good number to be around without blowing up. Then having a ring of these around a part, and then adding two extra, so that's 10 all together, which would mean that there's 20 of these firework parts on pistons, can give you a somewhat safe and reliable stock ion drive. Well, a glitch bug ion drive, but still a fun ion drive to play around with in the game without using mods. <laughs> Not ion drives. Gosh damn it, I'm tired. Orion drive. Good lord. Yes, all, everybody in the comments, yes, shame on me. Shame on me. Not ion. Orion. You can see how I got mixed up a little bit. Anyway, so a lot of the things that I tested out was, of course, cargo. Having the cargo put under that kind of G-force stress. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to rip free from the docking port. And while it does look silly bouncing around in there, it does stay. So that's a plus. With the, with the right combination of weight and... Orion Drive, Kraken Drive, whatever you want to call this thing, thrust, I was able to calculate a lot of different types of delta V with the corresponding weight. You can get anywhere between four, five, or 6,000 delta V from this thing, which is a lot, especially considering the fact that you're not carrying really any fuel other than the fireworks themselves. As of right now, there is no way to refill the fireworks, so if you're going to actually make this thing reusable, you'd probably have to build a completely new Orion drive and attach it somehow to the spacecraft or sadly throw away the spacecraft altogether. While I didn't have any time to test it, I was thinking about using multiple Orion drives on one ship. This of course would kind of look funny as the drives would be enormous in comparison to the living quarters and shuttle bay. But in reality, there are a lot of designs especially interstellar designs that show these massive engines with these huge fuel tanks and at the very tippity top is of course where everybody lives and you know it's a it's an actual design concept for really long trips in deep space 
going very quickly, very fast. It's something that I have yet to test out, but it could prove very useful. You know, slapping three or four full set ion, ion, why do I keep on saying ion? Man, I'm tired. Orion drives on the back of a vessel. So before I had to, uh, stop because it was getting late i wanted to see if i could at least get to jewel with this thing i knew it was going to be a one-way trip but i wanted to see if it was doable and sure enough it was which was pretty cool I think if I have time next time I do this, I'm going to try for the multiple Orion drives of one craft and try to do a round trip, but we'll see. Also, interestingly enough, you can turn flags into three-dimensional parts. I have some ideas of how this could be extremely useful. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and thank you all so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all and have a good night. I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye.